Hello family, over the past few days, there have been a furor on whether the residency requirement for ILR has been reduced from 5 years to 3 years. However, our goal is to clarify this in this video. We will be navigating the path to UK citizenship and understanding the rules for indefinite leave to remain ILR in 2024. Hence make sure you watch till the end of the video, so you do not miss out on this very vital information. For our indefatigable fans and those new to the family, you now have the option to join to become a member of the family. For others, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, let's get into it. 1.0. What is indefinite leave to remain, ILR? ILR is a form of settlement available to overseas nationals in the UK. It allows individuals to live and work in the UK without any time restrictions. ILR is often considered a pathway to British citizenship, as it is a recognition of an individual's long-term residency and integration into UK society. To be eligible for ILR, applicants usually need to have lived in the UK for a certain number of years, demonstrate knowledge of the English language and life in the UK, and meet other residency and character requirements. The specific residency period required can vary depending on the visa category under which an individual has been living in the UK. For example, Individuals on a skilled worker visa may become eligible for ILR after residing in the country for five years, while those on an innovator visa may be eligible after three years. In addition to the residency requirement, individuals must also pass the Life in the UK test, which assesses their knowledge of British traditions, customs, and daily life. They must also meet English language requirements, typically by having a speaking and listening qualification in English at B1s for or higher, or its equivalent. It's important to note that ILR is not the same as British citizenship. While ILR allows individuals to reside in the UK indefinitely, it can lapse if they leave the UK for a continuous period of more than two years. Most people who obtain ILR consider it a major step towards British citizenship. After holding ILR for at least 12 months, individuals may be eligible to apply for British citizenship, provided they meet the necessary requirements. Overall, Obtaining ILR is a significant achievement that paves the way for individuals to make the UK their permanent home and eventually apply for British citizenship. It's an important milestone that reflects an individual's commitment to integrating into UK society and becoming a part of its diverse tapestry. Let's pause for a minute. Are you currently enjoying the video? If so, then please take a minute to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the notification button so that you are the first to be notified when the next video drops. In Chronicles of Ola, we talk about life, living in the UK, immigration-related information and lots more. So please join the family and share the channel with your friends. Now let's get back to it. 2.0. ILR eligibility and changes in 2024. Hello, future UK permanent residents. Today, we're diving into the eligibility criteria for indefinite leave to remain, or ILR, and the changes that have come into effect in 2024. Let's navigate these new waters together. General ILR Eligibility To qualify for ILR, you typically need to complete a residency period, which can range from 3 to 5 years, depending on your visa category. You also need to demonstrate knowledge of the English language and life in the UK, among other requirements. Changes in 2024 In 2024, the UK's immigration landscape has seen significant transformations. From changes in student visa rules to adjustments in salary thresholds for certain visas, it's crucial to stay updated. Impact on ILR journey But remember, the journey doesn't stop at ILR. It's a crucial step towards full British citizenship. So, let's keep moving forward, adapting to the changes, and making the UK your permanent home. Student visa changes Starting with student visas, the rules have been amended to prevent most international students from being accompanied by dependents, unless certain conditions are met. This change could impact your ILR journey, if you're studying in the UK. Changes to Skilled Worker Visa For skilled worker visa holders, the minimum salary required has risen significantly in 2024. This could affect your eligibility for ILR, so it's important to plan accordingly. Changes to Family Visas Family members of students and sponsored skilled workers on health and care worker visas face new restrictions in bringing their family members to the UK. These changes could influence your path to ILR if you're in these categories. Changes to Immigration Health Surcharge The Immigration Health Surcharge is also increased in 2024. This additional cost could impact your budgeting for the ILR application process. 
Despite these changes, the dream of making the UK your permanent home remains achievable. Stay informed, plan ahead, and keep your eyes on the prize, indefinite leave to remain. 3.0. Visa categories that qualify for ILR. Welcome, future UK permanent residents. Today, we're exploring the various visa categories that can pave your way to indefinite leave to remain, or ILR. Each path has its own landscape, so let's map out your journey to settlement. Skilled Worker Visa First up, the Skilled Worker Visa. This is for those who have been offered a skilled job in the UK. After five years of continuous residence, meeting salary and sponsorship requirements, ILR could be yours. Health and Care Worker Visa Health and Care Worker Visa holders, you are the backbone of the UK's health system. Your dedication could lead to ILR after five years, provided you meet the necessary criteria. Global Talent Visa For the exceptionally talented, or promising individuals, the Global Talent Visa is your ticket. Depending on your field, you might be eligible for ILR in just three to five years. Innovator Founder Visa Entrepreneurs, listen up. The Innovator Founder Visa is designed for those establishing a business in the UK. After three years of nurturing your venture, ILR could be on the table. Tier 1 Investor and Entrepreneur Visas Tier 1 Investors and Entrepreneurs, your financial contributions can fast-track your ILR eligibility, often within 3 to 5 years, if you've made a substantial investment, or set up a business in the UK. Minister of Religion Visa For those spreading faith and community, the Minister of Religion Visa, now known as T2, could lead to ILR after 5 years of spiritual service, aligning with the salary and activity requirements. International Sportsperson Visa International Sportsperson Visa Holders, your athletic prowess isn't just for the games. After five years of competing, and coaching at the highest level, you could be running towards ILR. Representative of an Overseas Business Visa If you're representing an overseas business, your strategic role could lead to ILR. Establishing and running a UK branch, or subsidiary could see you settling permanently after five years. Turkish Worker or Businessperson Visas under the Ankara Agreement, Turkish workers and businesspersons have unique pathways to ILR, acknowledging the long-standing economic ties between Turkey and the UK. Spouse and Family Visas Family and love know no bounds. Spouse and other family visas can lead to ILR, after five years of living together in the UK, cementing your family's foundation in the country. Long Residence Time flies when you're making memories. For those who've legally resided in the UK for 10 continuous years, ILR could be your reward for a decade of calling the UK home. Ancestry Visa Tracing your lineage to the UK? Ancestry Visa holders can claim ILR after 5 years, honoring your familial ties, and contributing to the UK's diverse heritage. Windrush Scheme Members of the Windrush generation, and their children may be eligible for ILR, recognizing their historical, and ongoing contributions to the UK's cultural tapestry. EU, EEA, and Swiss citizens. Post-Brexit, EU, EEA, and Swiss citizens have new considerations, but the UK settlement scheme offers a way to protect your rights, and potentially lead to ILR. Whether you're innovating, investing, healing, or uniting, the UK's ILR visa categories are diverse pathways to a shared destination, making the UK your permanent home. 4.0. The Path to Citizenship. Welcome back to our journey towards becoming a British citizen. After obtaining indefinite leave to remain, or ILR, the next milestone is British citizenship. But remember, the journey involves more than just time. General Eligibility for British Citizenship To apply for British citizenship, you typically need to have held ILR for 12 months. However, if you're married to a British citizen, you can apply as soon as you have ILR. You also need to demonstrate knowledge of the English language, and life in the UK, among other requirements. The Citizenship Journey The journey to British citizenship is not just about fulfilling residency requirements. It's about integrating into the UK society, understanding its culture, and contributing to its growth. It's a commitment to make the UK your permanent home. The Waiting Period Once you've applied for citizenship, the Home Office usually takes around six months to review the applications. During this time, you may need to provide additional information. Responding promptly to any requests can help speed up the process. The Citizenship Ceremony Upon approval of your application, the final step is to attend a citizenship ceremony. This is a significant event where you'll take an oath of allegiance to the UK and receive your Certificate of British Citizenship. 
Benefits of British Citizenship As a British citizen, you can obtain a British passport, vote in elections, and enjoy the full benefits of being a UK national. It's a journey worth undertaking, and we're here to guide you every step of the way. So, that's the path from ILR to British citizenship. It's a journey of commitment, integration, and celebration. We hope this guide has been helpful, and wish you all the best on your journey to becoming a British citizen. As we've seen, the path to ILR and UK citizenship in 2024, is paved with opportunities and challenges. Whether you're just starting out or nearing the finish line, it's a journey worth taking. If you're ready to call the UK your home, start your application, and embrace the future. That's all for today's video. We hope you now have more information around these topics that have been discussed. We encourage you to take that bold step towards your next career adventure. The UK awaits your contribution to its vibrant and diverse workforce. Not so fast though, did you like the video? Do you have friends and family that need to know about these details, to make their move to the UK a success? Then make sure, you share, share and share. Many of you only watch my videos, a whooping 80% of you, but haven't subscribed. Why not? Please subscribe today, and turn on the notification button so that you be the first to be notified when I drop more of this content. For those that want to support the channel, my PayPal link is in the description of the video. If you need a paid inquiry, make a donation to the channel, and send your details to my email, chroniclesofola at gmail.com. Shalom.